Point one, do not buy the message of the commercial media. We put this very unpopular point first because it is, after all, the primary thing. We need to cleanse the mind just as we every now and then go and buy some stuff in a health food store and cleanse the body. Uh, we have been subjected in our civilization, I'm speaking here of Western industrialized countries or Eastern industrialized countries for that matter, we have been subjected to years and years of rather disorienting conditioning. And we here at Meta feel that this is really what's keeping humanity back. This is the stumbling block to preventing us from unleashing the great shift, call it a great turning or what you will. Uh, the fact of the matter is, if, if you live in this civilization, you are exposed to between three and 5,000 commercial messages every day. And if you analyze those messages, what, they're, what are they telling you? Underneath the, the surface message, which is, you know, buy this kind of cigarette or that kind of toothpaste or put your money in this kind of bank, underneath that message, they're all telling you that you do not have the resources within yourself to be fulfilled and happy. Do you remember, this, this is what we, we identified this as the biggest misconception of corporate civilization. Homo commercialis, I sometimes say, the, the commercialized human being, depersonalized human being. So this is, if you will, the biggest lie, the lie that happiness does not lie within us, it lies outside us, and we have to buy it. But in the words of a great spiritual teacher of modern India, Sri Ramana Maharshi, he pointed out very simply and very straightforwardly, there is no happiness in any object of the world. So it's by constantly looking outside of ourselves for fulfillment that we overlook the power that is within us. And we may think that, oh, you know, I'm very sophisticated, I don't believe all of this stuff, so watching these commercial media isn't going to bother me any. But many studies have shown that underlying messages are more powerful than surface messages, and those underlying messages get deep into our consciousness through constant repetition. So the final solution, which is, you know, quite unpopular and requires some self-sacrifice and some renunciation, but, you know, no pain, no gain in this business, the final solution is just boycott the darn things. I mean, I never had a television set in my possession, in my home, from the day that I left uh, for college. And I think I'm pretty aware of what's going on in the world, and I'm a much happier person for it. Thousands of families have tried the experiments of not watching television uh, for a period of time. And what they immediately discover, interestingly enough, is that the, the kids fight a lot more because they've been sitting mesmerized in front of the TV. But then by fighting and arguing and tussling with one another, they work their problems out instead of suppressing them. And when those problems are worked out, the family is much more cohesive. And I have a strong feeling that the destruction of the modern family is largely due to the stupefaction of individuals who then don't face one another and don't work out their destiny in interaction with one another. They don't live in a human world anymore. They live in the idol, idol, idealized world of these commercial fantasies. So if we decide that as far as in us lies, as far as we can uh, control our environment, we're not going to watch TV. We're going to get our news from alternative media. Uh, we're going to only watch uh, films that don't uh, uh, exploit violence and exploit us in the process, that don't exploit vulgarity, that don't create a very low, empty, separate, crass image of the human being. If we make that decision, uh, we're clearing out a lot of these old superstitious cobwebs about the human being being a separate personal object condemned to compete for scarce resources. 
We'll still see plenty of this stuff because, you know, walking down the street, looking at the side of a bus, we'll see it. But I think it's extremely important to make that effort of will to sequester ourselves from that influence. When we make that effort of will, I think that in itself is a big protection. And I'm speaking here as a person who has done this himself for a long time. Uh, and I have found it's, you know, it's very healthy and I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Especially if we follow this up with the other four points. Thank you.